G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well, what you can see here is a massive steel um, tank Unsure what it was used for, probably something to do with steam or um, something like that in the past It's pretty big and it's pretty heavy But anyway, what I'm going to do today, I've got my Land Cruiser And I'm going to connect up a couple of ropes And hopefully, if things go well, I'm going to be able to I'm going to try and pull this out of this rubbish pole here. So where I am right now, guys, is um, the, uh, the old part of the local rubbish dump. You would have seen um, my last video, what I've made about this. It's absolutely, literally covered in um, good steel for scrap metal. So this addition here would be a perfect um, addition for my scrap collection. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Um, to see what it was used for so if I can't scrap it guys I might be able to sell it on eBay or something maybe it was used for something interesting in the past but yeah it's definitely an old relic so anyway, Land Cruiser up here I've just disconnected the trailer so we'll go and get in the Land Cruiser and give it a um, pull to you guys here's another perfect example of some nice heavy scrap an old motor of some kind so I might even try and pull that out as well and like I say guys there's heaps of old um, relics in here um, old tractor parts and all that kind of stuff so it's just pretty hard to get to some of the real good stuff because it's up on the hill and yeah but like I say guys this scrap um, or this scrap metal here will definitely keep me going for probably a couple of months if not longer and I just come out here when I feel like it and you know, collect scrap and so forth, so I'm in the mood today. So, we'll pull out this big tank and we might grab All that right motor. Guys, I'm no rope expert, but anyway, I've done a dodgy uh, knot. So I've connected up this rope, it'll probably break, but anyway, we'll give it a go, see where we go. As long as I can just roll it out, guys, that's the main thing. So, I'll set up the camera and we'll see if we can pull it out. Stay tuned. Alright guys, well it's set up. I oh, just like that bloody thing doesn't roll over the top of this camera. <sighs> well, well, that's it there, guys. It's definitely weighs probably close to a ton. So anyway, I got it out of that main patch there, so that's the main thing. But I'm just going to leave it there, and maybe I might be able to get the local shire, or somewhere for front-end loader, to put in the back of my trailer for me. So, I've kind of done what I wanted to do. There's no way I'd put, be able to put in the back of my trailer. So anyway, that job's done for the day, and maybe someone might be able to help me identify what this might have been used for. Obviously some kind of um, large water heater or a steamer or something like that, I wouldn't have a clue. Well guys, I'm out of the local rubbish dump at the moment and what you can see right here is the crushed remains of a nice old um, cast iron fence or a gate. So what I want to do one day is come out here and grab that nice oval shaped um, piece there um, and I reckon that'd be be able to sell it on eBay, it's a beautiful piece. Um, if not, keep it for myself for a relic, for part of my relic display. But I just need to get um, a decent hacksaw or my angle grinder and cut that piece off. So it should be pretty easy to get to. It's been here for a long, long time, but just a nice, really nice old relic. So hopefully one day I'll get around to it and I'll so cut it. Just here, guys, off. is just part of the um, rubbish dump. I'm at, right at the back of the pole at the moment. I'm here at the moment because I need to um, go and grab some old bed springs because the, for, because Nick from Dumbing Engineering uses the old springs and if I get them for him he's gonna um, you know do little jobs for me for free or um, it'll pay also pay for the um, cost of him fixing up my trailer the other day so just over there the other day I noticed some old um, cast iron bed so I've just got to go over there and cut the springs out so we'll just go and do over that there now. guys is those springs so you'll see them in a minute those um, silver springs on that mattress 
arm there, the old cast iron bed. So I've got to climb over that junk there and we'll Just go and cut them off. Springs guys are the ones what Nick wants. Apparently they're pretty expensive to buy. So if I get them, like I say, Nick does little jobs for me for free. And yeah, just, you know, when you're trying to save money or you've got no bloody money like I have at the moment, it all adds up. And also I just noticed there's a nice water heater there, but pretty impossible to grab too. Too, too dangerous, too much steel, I don't want to cut myself. And there's just another one right there, guys, so we'll go and grab these springs. So these are the type of springs here guys, Nick uses them for when he's doing his um, engineering stuff so it's got me stuff what he uses them for but like I say guys, it saves me a little bit of money and by me doing this hopefully Nick might be able to make my copper wire stripper for free so So these are the springs I just grabbed then guys. I've already grabbed Nick about a hundred or given him about a hundred springs so far but he reckons he goes through them like bloody... G'day guys, wildfire. it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well, I'm out at a mate's place at the moment, Greg's. He's given me permission um, to come out here and collect these star pickets and a heap of other scrap. Uh, but he's not home at the moment so I'm just going to uh, leave it here and I'll give him a call and I'll probably come back in a couple of days and we'll see how we go yeah there's a fair bit of scrap there star pickets which is great but anyway guys i've got a deep fry on the back i've just picked up that from the local roadhouse and today i'm just going to do a bit of a um scrap road trip because i am getting really really desperate for funds uh, my bank balance is down to about bloody 600 bucks um that's and i that's minus bloody four and a half grand oil my overdraft so I'm more or less minus four and a half grand anyway guys as you can see he's got um, some nice old machinery here nice old truck and there's probably plenty of other stuff over around so when he when I catch up with him I'll ask if he can do a video on some of his machinery so there's a nice old international truck just here uh, nice old um, bonnet Unfortunately, that bloody emblem's broken. But anyway, guys, I'll keep going. And I think Greg's actually home. So we'll go and catch up with Greg anyway and see what he... And we'll arrange for a time and for me to come pick guys, this stuff I up. just noticed this huge, big um, pile of um, old plough heads. Greg actually mentioned this when I spoke to him. But yeah, this is... Look how much there is. There's absolutely probably two or three tonnes so this is going to be great guys not only that there's nice old plow heads here i've never seen one that big so these are going to be great i'm going to sort out these plow heads and i'll be able to sell these on ebay because people collect these so there's some really nice old plow heads here um and i'm also started to collect them myself too guys so when i move to my new house braden's old house i'm going to put them all on display and yeah i'm sure there's going to be other relics in here and I've also got to ask the scrap merchant about these oil filters. Apparently, Greg asked me if I could scrap those. I've never done um, oil filters before, so I'll give the scrap guy a ring and we'll see how we go. Alright guys, I'll keep going and we'll go and see Greg.